Good evening. Hi, Veronica, Luis, Karen. It's a pleasure to see you again. How are you today? Luis, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, I cannot listen. I don't know. Uh, do you copy, Luis? Do you copy? Yes. Let me check my computer. Ah, my computer is a problem. Yes. Okay, good. One, one, two. And uh, Luis, I can hear you now. Hello. Oh, now. Yes. <laughs> my computer <laughs> was the problem. I'm sorry, Luis. <laughs> I'm sorry. How are you today? I'm fine. Oh, good, good. A little cool or, or cold? Because mm. of... Mm -hmm. Sorry? Are you cool or cold? I'm... I'm cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we need a sweater, right? Hey, Veronica. Hi. How are you? It's a pleasure to see you again. Do you uh are are you cool or cold too, Veronica? The two, <laughs> cool and cold. Okay, look at Karen. Yeah, no, she she has a, a what what is that a scarf? You know, bufanda. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I have cold. Uh, you are you are cold, cold. Oh, okay, very good. Cold, cold. Yeah, well, now uh, this this weather is is good, but. Maybe tomorrow, one of these days, stop, right? And again, hot, right? It's not usual. Well, we have to get accustomed. Nos tenemos que acostumbrar, right? Get accustomed to the Salvadorian weather, right? Okay, class, let's start immediately with the class. And we'll show you the presentation for tonight. It's a little short because the topic is, well, I consider it easy, right? But you will tell me. Easy or difficult. So the topic for today is how to use there is and there are, right? Plus quantifiers. Today is, um, you know, October 17th. We are practically in the middle of October, right? And this class is class number 17, right? Uh, we have only three three more classes and then we finish the course, basic one, right? And that's it, right? I want to remind you, que recordarles, right, that Friday, please do not miss the class. No se van a perder la clase because it's the last class and we are going to complete a poll. Vamos a llenar una encuesta. So it's absolutely necessary you, you say present to the class, right? Yes, I want to be here on Friday with you. Yes. Okay, we're going to have Dino, we're going to have uh, Dudley, we're going to have Semita and coffee, everything on Friday, right? <laughs> okay, now let's begin. Veronica, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Unit number four. At and tell people the specific location of, of place and direction. And how do you see? Surrounding, surrounding. Surrounding my workplace. Excellent, right? The location of places around my company, right? Good. So again, we're going to continue with location, places, directions, etc. prepositions. Etc. Etc. And to begin, ladies and gentlemen, the conversation, right? He says, Will. Now, this is other Will, right? Wilfredo is our, our student in this club, but this is other Will. Will say, um, Hello, can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here, right? So it's a person that is looking for a building. Melbourne building, right? And the person doesn't live in that place, right? 
And then it says, don't worry, there are four buildings. Cuatro edificios, right? Four buildings. Which one do you need? ¿Cuál de ellos? Which one do you need? And Will says, a girl told me, una chica me dijo, right, and to go to the building on, on Main Street. So, so the Main Street, there is a building, right? So uh, they say that Will has to go to this building. And Tanya says, I know it. It's down the street, adelantito de la calle, right? On the left side, you know, left. My left, my right. Right, left, you know. So on the left side, so this is the street, my right, my left. So the building is on the left side, right? And lado de izquierdo. And we'll say, thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Hay un centro de capacitación ahí en ese edificio, Melbourne. Está en la calle principal, right, Main Street. And then uh, Tanya says, there are a lot. Hay bastantes. No, when I say a lot means 10. <laughs> no, no, bastante, right? Montón, you say in El Salvador, right? Montón, puño, un puño. <laughs> Okay, um, there are a lot of uh, training centers, right? Hay muchos centros de capacitación. It says, between Main and King Street, right? Okay, uh, I have some interviews there, right? Algunas entrevistas ahí. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Good. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Any word that you don't understand? Questions? How do you say, for example, training in Spanish, right? How do you say building in Spanish? How do you say uh, a girl told me in Spanish? Do you understand? Yes. How do oh. you say Mm -hmm. Inter interviews. Ah, interviews. Uh, entrevistas. Entrevistas. So Will says, I have some interviews there, right? So maybe he's looking for an employee, for an uh, an employment. So anda buscando un empleo, maybe. Maybe we'll do. Okay. Thank you for the question, Veronica. Any other question? Down the street means. Adelante la calle, you know, adelantito, por ahí, adelante, <laughs> down the street, right? Okay, good, now let's practice pronunciation, right? Repeat after me, please. Hello, 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 can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live here. Live here. I don't live here. Good. Only Karen, please read again. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Excelentoso. Now, continue. Repeat, everybody. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, no, no, sorry. Don't worry. There are four buildings. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Which one do you need? Okay, Olivero, please repeat. Don't worry. There are four boarding. Which one do you need? Excelentoso, yes. Now, everybody. A girl told me
to go to the building on Main Street. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Building. Girl. Main Street. Street. Remember, it's not a street. Street. S -s -s street. Good. Only Luis, please repeat. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Excellent pronunciation. Now, everybody, please, everybody, repeat, please, repeat. I know it. I know it. It's down the street. On the left side. Is down the street on the left side. Down the street. Left side. Good. William, can you read, please? Okay. I know it. It's down the... It's down the street. On the left side. Excellent. Now, everybody, please repeat. Thanks. Th 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 thanks. Thanks. I have to ask you, ask you something else. I have to ask you something else. Some... Thing. Something. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? Diana, please, only you. Only you. Tra, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia el primero? Tha, 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 Thanks. 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 I have to do the hacks use some, something else in their uh, training center. Is there? Is there? Is there a training center? Good. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Now, everybody, please. Uh, there are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers on the building. Between Main and King Street. Between Main and King Street. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Only Nuria, please, Miss Diaz. Only you, please. The, there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Okay, between, between, Big. between, oh, this is a magic word, sorry, where is Nuria, oh my goodness, me siento culpable, <laughs> siento que por mis culpas, Nuria, Nuria, hello, sí, no. sí, por ahí está Nuria, ah, okay, sorry, sí. perdón, pensé que se le, ha ido, se le había ido la señal, y dije yo, Como le hice repetir, por mi culpa desapareció. <laughs> okay, now, between. Between. Okay, very between. good. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, everybody, please repeat. I have some interviews there. I have some interviews there. Interviews. Interviews. Thank you again. 
Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you again. Good. Only uh, Paula, please help me. Okay. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye, Paul. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're going to practice the conversation, right? And we're going to have a, well, I'm going to have the list right now, please. Say present, please. Uh, Alejandra? Cindy? Claudia? Diana? Present. Grecia? Present, Claudia. Oh, okay, Claudia, welcome. Grecia? Karen? Present. Carla? Beatriz? Present. Hello, Beatriz. Lucia? Miss Cornejo Ramirez? Okay. Luis? Present. Thank you. Vero? Present, teacher. Thank you. Alejandro? Present. Thank you, Alejandro. Today no, no fan, eh, Alejandro. Hoy no hay ventilador, Alejandro. Siempre. Ah, okay. Con este frío, Alejandro. <laughs> okay, nice. Very good. Eh, Cindy, ya le tomó la asistencia, Cindy. Good. Nuria? Present. Thank you. Paola? Present, teacher. William? I'm here, teacher. Good. Eh, Wilson? Hola. Wilson? Teacher, no entiendo ni mierda. No lo sé. No, oh, come on. Vocabulary. Ese vocabulario ya quedó grabado. Lo siento. Apaguemos el micrófono, please. Ok. Uh, thank you, Cindy. Aquí ya la tomamos presente. Vamos a contestarle. Vamos a contestarle. Ok. Attendance. Sí, tengamos cuidado con el micrófono, porque recuerden que hay personas uh, que están en nuestros hogares y de repente se oyen las voces, ¿verdad? Así que con cuidadito. Gracias. Now, let's go to the class now. We're going to practice. Eh, I'm going to start okay. with... Mister, uh, good night. Yeah. Eh, good, good evening. Carla, good. present. Ah, Carla, hello. Welcome, Carla. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Now, eh, we have Claudia. Claudia, did you listen to eh, the conversation? ¿Alcanzó a escuchar la conversación, Claudia? Solamente la última oración cuando entré. Ah, okay. So, we're going to repeat for everybody, right? Okay. Okay, don't worry. So, listen. It says, hello, can you help me? What is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers of the building. There are a lot of training centers on the building. Between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, Claudia, so you have, you know, at least the idea, right? Al menos la idea de cómo va la pronunciación, okay? So, Claudia, yes. you're going to be Will, right? 
Okay. And and Diana, you're going to be uh, Tanya, right? Are you yeah. ready, girls? So one, two, three, action. Hello, can you can you help help me? Help me? Help me. What is the mean? Come. Uh, help me. Help, help me. Me. Oh. help me. Help me. Help me. Hello, can you help me? Where where is the Melbourne? Melbourne, B you know what? Uh -huh. Where is the Melbourne? I see Melbourne. Yeah, no Melbourne. It, it could be a uh, uh, multiplaza. It could be whatever. Don't worry. No se preocupe por el nombre. Que es cualquier nombre. Ahí. Melbourne. Okay. Melbourne. Uh -huh. Melbourne building. Building. I don't live here. 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 I don't, okay. I don't live here. Here, good. Thank you, Claudia. Continue, Diana. Do, don't worry. They are for building with one do you need? Which? 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 When? Which one do you need? Thank you, Claudia. I, I girl. To, I girl. Tell me to go. Yes, to go. To go, ah, yes. Told me to go to the building on Ullman, Ullman Street. I not it. It's down the street, street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask to ask you something. Something. Else. Something else. else. Some, something else. Something else. Something else. Is there? Is there a? There, eso no sé cómo se pronuncia, train. Training. Training, training center. Training center. Is there they, a training center? They are. They are a lot of training center of the building. Between May and the Kings Street. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Street, King Street. Street. King Street. Street. Uh -huh. Between, between Bin, me. Between me and King, uh, King Street. I have some interviews. 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 I have some interviews there. Thank you again. And thank you again. 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 Thank you again. Bye bye. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right? Now, let's go to the next. Uh, we have Karen, please. And Carla, right? Karen, you're going to be Will. And Carla, you're going to be uh, Tanya, right? Okay. Ready? Action. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are for buildings with one do you need a girl told me to go to the building on main street i know it it's down the street on the left side thanks i have to ask you something else is there a training center there are a lot of Training center on the building be between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okie dokie. Thank you. Say building, right? Building, edificio, building, building. Thank you. Now, uh, Beatriz, you're going to be Will. No, Luis, Luis, you're going to be Will. And Beatriz, you're going to be uh, Tanya, right? Are you ready? Okay, please. Yes. Come on. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I I don't live here. Don't worry. They are for building buildings with buildings buildings that is buildings buildings. Which one do one do you need? 
Iger told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? They are a lot of training centers on, on the wood. Building, 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 no, no, my... wait, 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 building, ah. building, Be... ¿Cómo dijo? Be building, 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 <laughs> building, <laughs> Main and King Street. <laughs> I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Beatriz. Be Beatriz, very emotional. That's nice. I, I I know that you're very happy, Beatriz. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and thank to you too, Luis. Now, Veronica, you and 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 Alejandro, right? Alejandro is going to be Will, and Veronica is going to be Tanya, right? There you go. One, two, three, action. Hello, can you tell me what is the number building? I don't need to. Don't worry, they are for building. Which one do you need? Uh, you told me to be able to go to the building. Amazing. I know it is on the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a train center? There are a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. I have so interview there. Thank you, Joanne. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, tonight you're going to have uh, two things, right? Esta noche van a, van a haber dos cosas para ustedes. Rillito, cobijita rica, right? <laughs> y la palabra building en sus sueños. <laughs> okay. Building. <laughs> Me está costando a todo, ¿verdad? Build, con, con D, you know, building, right? Ok, don't worry, es normal. Un poco difícil la palabra, así que tranquilos. Yes. Now, eh, we have now eh, Nuria. Nuria and Paola, please. Eh, Nuria, you're going to be Will. Paola, you're going to be Tania, right? Ready, okay. girls? One, two, three, action. Hello, can you help me? Where is the neighbor? Building, I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I hear to me to go the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street of the left side. Thank. I have to ask you something else. Is there a train? Training? I, <laughs> I try center. Training center. There are a lot of training center of the building between Main and King Center. King Street. Are I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Now, William, uh, you're gonna help me. Let me see. Um, vamos a ver si hay alguien más que se ha incorporado. Lástima que Cindy no puede por su micrófono, pero vamos a ver. Uh, no. 
ya no se ha incorporado a nadie más. Entonces vamos a pedirle a reenganche a, a Beatriz, ¿verdad? Right? Beatriz, yes. Hi. Beatriz, eh, usted me hizo Tania, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Puede hacer Will? Sí. Va, entonces usted va a hacer Will y Will va a ser, <ríe> sorry, Will, you're going to be Tania, right? Ok. Yes, yes. Eh, para que ayudemos a practicar ahí a Beatriz. Ok, ready? One, two, three, action. Hello, can you help me? Where is the main building? Building, building, otra building. vez, ¿verdad? No, 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 building, no, es building. Building. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. I don't like here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on my street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Then I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Congratulations, bye. William. Congratulations, Beatriz. That's nice, right? We're improving. Vamos mejorando. Así, poquito a poquito. Ya cuando vayan por el nivel 4, ya... Así va. Don't worry. There are four things. Which one do you need? Oh, girl, tell me to will. Ah, you're going to speak very fast, right? Vamos a hablar ya más rápido, ¿ok? De momento, van a disculpar que me tome mucho tiempo en esto de las conversaciones, pero aquí a nivel virtual es lo que más nos ayuda a agarrar fluencia, right? Ok, now uh, we're going to introduce the topic. The topic for today is there is and there are plus quantifiers. There is, there are plus quantifiers. There is. How do you say there is in Spanish? You say hay. How do you say there are? Hay, the same. The only difference is that uh, there is is for singular. And there are is for plural. You see? There is is for singular. There are is for plural. Examples. There is an ATM across the street. ATM is like this, look. A, it's um, the word for automatic. T is for teller, quiere decir cajero, right? And M is for machine. Automatic teller machine. In United States, you, you, don't, you don't hear people say uh, automatic cashier. Cajero automático, no, they don't say that. In United States, they say ATM. Do you know an ATM? Is there an ATM here in the commercial center? I need an ATM. So ATM, that means automatic teller machine. It quiere decir cajero, máquina de cajero automática. ATM, right? Okay. Say, there is an ATM across the street. There is a... So we can make contractions. Look. There is equal to say there's. There's. There is, there's. Contraction, right? Okay. Now it says there, there's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Aha, uh -huh. we have, there is no. This is the negative, right? There is no. Or well, there is no. Clothing factory. You can also say there isn't. No hay ninguna fábrica de ropa, right? Clothing factory. You see? So you can, there are two forms to say negative. There is no, or there isn't. 
the reason. Okay? Understand? Now. Uh, in plural, you say there are a lot of companies. You see, there are a lot of un montón de compañía, right? A lot of companies. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Notice that uh, the word a lot means bastantes, right? Un puño, right? A lot of. Some, algunos. Algunos, what happened here? ¿Qué pasó aquí? Veamos. So, ahí está. There are some supermarkets, you see? Algunos, some. On the right and left side of the street. And in negative, there are no hospitals on Barrio Street. So you can say, for example, you can say there are no, or you can say there aren't. The two forms are acceptable, right? There are no hospitals, hospital, like health, hospital. There are no hospitals, or there aren't hospitals. The two are correct, right? The two are right. There are no hospitals. There aren't hospitals. Okay? Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. There is an ATM across the street. There's a recruitment center. There's a recruitment center. On the corner of Roosevelt Street. And First Avenue. There is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There is no clothing factory around the corner. There is no clothing factory around the corner. Okay, Nuria, can you read them again, please? Me los leo de nuevo, please. There is, there is, there is, there is. There is um, a team. ATM. ATM across the street. There's a rec recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Good. So notice street, say eh, Nuria, street. No, come? Street. A street. No, no. Street. Street. Excellent, right? Good. Now, everybody, there are, repeat again. Thank you, Nuri. Everybody, repeat, please. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. On
on the right and left side of the street. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. There are no hospitals on Barrio Street. Okay, now please, only Miss Rivas, please, can you repeat again, Miss Rivas, Beatriz? Only you, please. Hola, perdón. Perdón, you... teacher, se me trajo. Uh, okay, so uh, read, please, read, read. Uh, el are... primer cuadro, ¿verdad? Yeah, no, del segundo. Ah, ah okay. Ay. There are? Right. There are a lot of companies down the street. Uh, there, there are some supermarkets on the right and left side of, of the street. They are not hospital of various street. Street? Street. street. Okay, wait, wait. It's not a street, no. Only street. A street. Mm -mm -mm. A, no. no, no, only street. Street. Excellent. Street, right? And? There are, there are, say, there are, there are. They Repeat. are. No, they know. There. They. There are. Are. There okay. are. Thank you, Beatriz. Thank you very much, Miss Rivas. Now, let's <laughs> continue, please. Let's continue. Thank you very much, everybody. Now, when to use there is and there are? Use there is with singular nouns. Use there are with plural nouns. There's a small office downstairs. There's a large desk. Large means big, right? Desk. And two windows. There is no elevator. Now, in questions, how do you say questions? Instead of say, there is, you say, is there, right? So we change the position. There is, is there. Is there a balcony? And then the answer says, yes, there is. Or no, there isn't. Is there a pupuseria in San Salvador? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. A montón, right? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Is there a, is there a park in San Salvador? Yes, there is. No, there isn't, right? Good. This is good singular, right? And remember the meaning of there's a small office is there is. So you can make contractions, contraction. Also, when you say there is no elevator, you can say there isn't an elevator, right? You can say that. Now in plural, say, there are three large rooms upstairs, right? Hay tres cuartos grandes arriba. There are two windows. In a large desk, there are no elevators. Are there closets? Yes, there are. No, there are. So as we say in 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 affirmative, right? We say there are. Can we make contraction? Can you say there are? There are no right. No, no contraction. There is yes, there's, but there are no contraction. And also you say there are no elevators or you can say there aren't elevators. There are no elevators. There aren't elevators. And then you say the question. Instead of say there are, you change the position and you say are there. There are. Are there. Are there closest? Closets, yes, there are. No, there aren't, right? Good. Now, notice this information. There is, is contracted, there's, right? But when you answer, no contraction. You say, for example, is there a, is there a, a swimming pool in your house, William? ¿Tiene una piscina en su casa, William?
William said yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. No, no, no. They, no there, is, there is there is there isn't uh -huh. okay. But yeah. if you say if you say affirmative, William, you say yes, there's yes, there's, there's. there's. no <laughs> incorrect, there is. right? There is, yes, there is, right? Yes, there is. Right now, there are uh, no, right? No contractions. There are. There are, right? You see? Okay, any question? Questions? Okay, now let's practice, right? Remember, there is or there's is singular. There are is plural, right? Understand? There is is singular. There are is plural, right? Okay, now we're going to work in groups. Saying there is, there are, right? Hagamos captura de pantallas, chicos. Captura de pantallas. In three group, right? Let me see. Uh, voy a nombrar los que no me contestaron. Vamos a ver si ya están presentes. Alejandra. Grecia. Present. Ah, oh, Grecia. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Nice. Michelle. Nice. Happy. I'm happy to hear you. Eh, Lucia. Okay, Wilson. No Wilson tonight, right? Okay, good. Three groups. Ready? Group number one. Uh, Claudia, Karen, Carla, and Nuria. Solo chica aquí. Cindy de, de oyente, nada más, ¿verdad? Ahí. Yes. Ahí les puede participar con el chat. Cindy, si me la hacen participar, please. El grupo one, right? Group number two. Uh, Grecia. Eh, Beatriz, Alejandro and William right in group number three, Diana, Luis Veronica and Paola understand? okay, ready, here we go Beatriz, Beatriz, puede unirse al grupo dos, please. Cindy al grupo uno, please. Beatriz, can you help me? Me escucha, Beatriz. Hello, hello. We at noon. La segunda concert sería there are. Mm. Ah, the concert and the and the game, dice, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. sí, the game. Pero el primero ahí sería there's a concert at two. 
and again a tree. O tiene que ser. No vamos a aplicar solo las dos palabras. There is. Ajá, there is or, or there are. O there are. Uh -huh. Sin do y sin nada. Sí. En la cuatro sí estamos seguros, ¿verdad? Que sería there are two office buildings across the street. Sí, o sea, cinco, sería there are. Sería there are. Sí, de, de la otra, en las cinco serían there are. La seis. Igual sería igual que la segunda. There are. There are. ¿Tienen la captura, chicos? ¿O quieren que se las comparta? Ya la tienen. Sí, ya la, ya la tenemos. Ok, good, good. Y la otra también sería de la... Nos está costando, teacher. No podemos. <risa> ya terminaron, Vero. <risa> no sé, siento la ironía. No sé por qué. <risa> Así ya vamos a ver, ya vamos a ver. Así va. O sea, no está costando. ¿no? <risa> ok. Very good. Entonces, quizás no vamos a ir porque el solo grupo 1 se me ha atascado un poquito. Ya voy a ir con ellos y después los llamo en un minuto, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Yes. Sí. Sí, de ahí de la posición. De la sí, dos, porque en de el la otro tres, ya, hasta la ocho. Ajá, ajá, de ahí de la de la de la cuatro sería, de la cuatro a la sí, ocho, sí. derar. Derar, sí, excepto sí. La, la seis, que es theirs. Uh -huh. Perdón, la siete. La siete es theirs. No, la seis no sería. La única. Pero vamos a esos micrófonos, ¿verdad? O declararé desacato. Se acabó. Ok, vamos a apagar los micrófonos un ratito entonces. Ok, um, let me see. Ok, good. Everybody's here, ya estamos todos. Ok, very good. Ahí hay que hacerle fuerza en casita para que aprendan en inglés, oiga Carla. <ríe> Ahí póngamele, pónganle videos y canciones en inglés a la fuerza, oiga Carla. Vaya, yo les pongo. Por favor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with number one, right? Uh, group number one, uh, Karen, Claudia, Cindy, and company, please. Uh, let me share with you, right? Let me share. Good. Number one, please help me. There's. There's. A movie, right? A movie oh, at, there is, at noon. Thank you very much. Now, number two, please. Group number two. In this case, group number two is uh, Grecia. There are. And Will, right? Uh, yeah, there are. There 
There are a concert and a game. Mm -hmm. But this is complicated. I will explain, right? Uh, in this case, we're going to say there is. Because we refer to the concert, right? Nos estamos refiriendo al concierto. Entonces vamos a decir. Oops, sorry. So vamos a decir. Ah, permítanme. There is. ¿Por qué there is? Ok. Lo que pasa es que en inglés individualizamos los eventos. Y decimos así, miren. There is a concert in. Y escribimos acá también. There is a game, right? Entonces, la oración correcta es. There is a concert at 2 p.m. And there is a game at three, right? Listen. Hay un concierto y hay un juego, right? Pero para evitarnos la monotonía o la repetición, solo ponemos al principio, there is, right? Understand? ¿Sí entendemos? O los dejé freeze, <laughs> congelados. Sí, mister, será posible que lo pueda repetir. Vale, lo voy a favor. repetir, lo voy a repetir. Ok, eh, cuando hablamos de un evento en inglés, que es diferente en este caso porque hay un concierto y un juego, lo individualizamos con there is. En este caso, there is a concert y también there is a game, right? There is a game. Entonces tenemos que repetirlo y decir there is a concert and there is a game, right? Hay un concierto y hay un, hay un juego, ¿ok? Pero para evitarnos la monotonía o la repetición solo ponemos una vez there is y decimos there is a concert and a game, right? ¿Sí? Ok, pero si decimos hay dos conciertos, entonces sí, there are, ahí sí sería dos conciertos, o dos juegos, right? There are two games, right? Ok, pero en este caso son dos in, eh, individualizados y a cada uno le ponemos there is, right? Solo que el segundo ya no se lo escribimos. ¿Hoy sí? ¿Sure? Ok, good. Now let's go, group, group number three, right? Eh, Diana, Luis and company. Group number there, two. There is. There is. Oh, there, right? Contraction. There is a bank on the corner of España and 27th Street, right? Good. Thank you. Group number one again, please. Number four. There are. There are. Correct. Can we use contraction here? Can we use contractions? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Contraction? No. No, right? No contraction. There are two office buildings. Good. Number five, please. Group number two. Uh, Grecia, Will. There are. Company. There are. Mm -hmm. Here also you can say there are some. Aquí también podemos agregarle la palabra some si ustedes quieren, ¿verdad? Hay algunos supermercados. There are some supermarkets near, nearby, right? Okay, thank you. Group number three, please. There is. There is. Es el mismo caso de la número dos, ¿verdad? There is. Que hay una farmacia y una cafetería, pero ustedes dicen, ah, pero es plural. Sí, pero es una farmacia algo diferente y es una cafetería, es algo diferente. Entonces decimos, la oración completa sería there is a pharmacy and there is a cafetería. There is a pharmacy and there is a cafeteria, right? Entonces, lo, lo correcto siempre es decir there is, en este caso. Yes? Okay, group number one again. There are. There are, correct. And finally, group number two. There are. There are.
there are, okay? So listen, there is a movie at noon. There is a concert at two o'clock and a game at three o'clock. There is a bank on the corner of España and 27. Street. There are two office buildings across the street. There are supermarkets nearby. Nearby means cerquita, right? Nearby. There is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around the corner. There are uh, two windows in the bathroom. Menos mal, ¿verdad? Se necesita una ventanita en el baño. Okay. Now, there are three elevators in the in the Cuscatlán building, right? You know, the, the Torre Cuscatlán, yes. Por si no conocen, hay tres elevadores ahí. Man. It's a big building. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. There is a movie at noon. There is a concert at two o'clock and a game at three o'clock. There is a bank on the corner of España and 27th Street. There are two office buildings across the street. Street. There are supermarkets nearby. There is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around the corner. There are two windows in the bathroom. There are three elevators in the Cuscatlan building. Okay, help me, Paola. Can you read number one, two, three, and four again, please? Only Paola. Okay. There's a movie at noon. There is a concert at two. And a game at three. There is a bank of the corner of España and 27th Street. Okay. There are two office buildings across the street. Thank you. Good pronunciation, Paola. Good pronunciation. Now, Grecia, five, six, seven, and eight. Grecia. Supermarkets nearby, 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 nearby. Eh, ah, perdón, there are supermarkets nearby. There is a pharmacy and a cafeteria around the corner. There are two windows in the bathroom. There are three ele eleva elevators in the Cuscatán building. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right? Now, any question, class? Any question? Oh, about the use of there is, there are? Any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta, chicos? Hablen ahora, callen para siempre. <laughs> okay. Any question? Ok, eh, solo en esta, en la número 5, recuérdense que podemos agregar there are a lot of supermarkets, hay muchos supermercados, right? O pueden decir there are some, o hay algunos. Inclusive podemos decir la palabra a few, que, que significa eh, unos cuantos, poquitos, ¿no? Vamos a, vamos a ver aquí. A few. There are a few supermarkets. Hay unos cuantos, unos poquitos supermercados, right? Ok. Inclusive podemos usar un número. 
podemos decir, there are three supermarkets. Hay tres supermercados, right? There are three supermarkets. Okay. También podemos usar, there are many, hay muchos. There are many supermarkets, right? ¿Ok? Son palabras que podemos usar como para complementar o ser más específico con el número o la cantidad de algo cuando es poquito, bastante o medianamente. ¿Right? Good. ¿Any question? Pregunta, chicos. Vamos. Any Le question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Quiere decir que nunca el DR se, con se puede contractarte. En este contexto no. Cuando decimos hay algo, no, no se puede contractar. Podemos contractar eh, si es negativo. Eh, digamos, podemos hacer esto. Mire, Verónica. There aren't, por ejemplo. Podemos decir there aren't. ¿Ve? Aquí sí podemos contractar. ¿ve? Pero lo que es el there y el are, no. Ahí no. Good. Good question. Buena pregunta. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, chicos? En español lo usamos nosotros más sencillo, ¿no? Solo decimos, hay, hay una oficina, hay dos oficinas, right? En español no nos complicamos, pero en inglés sí, cuando es singular, is, y cuando es plural, are, right? Yes? Ok. Vamos a hacer otro ejercicio, yes? Y después nos vamos a un material bien bonito que incluye audio, right? Ok, good. I will assign, right? Le voy a asignar a cada uno eh, una oración y después las unimos. Yes. Comenzamos con. Eh, Alejandra no, no se ha presentado todavía, Alejandra. Present teacher. Ah, hello, hello, Present. Alejandra. <ríe> ok, entonces a Alejandra y a Cindy, tal vez nos escriben en el chat, Cindy. Les vamos a asignar la número uno, number one, right? Claudia and Diana, number two. Grecia and Karen, number three. Carla and Beatriz, number four. Luis and Veronica, number five. Eh, Alejandro, Nuria, number six. Paola, William, van a ser los jueces, los jueces del, de la actividad, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Ya no me alcanzó. Now, look, write questions, good. Quiere decir que todas van a ser preguntas. Todas son preguntas, ¿yes? ¿sí? Todas son preguntas. Ok. And then you're going to say, is there or are there? Con la diferencia que en la número cuatro, en lugar de comenzar la pregunta con is there, van a comenzar con how many. ¿Sí? De la cuatro a la seis, van a comenzar con how many. ¿Ok? Y luego sí, con how many games are there. Oh, he's there, you know. Okay? Good. Vamos a ver. Me dice cuando está lista, Alejandra. O Cindy en el chat. Chat ¿No? teacher. Okay, good. Sería, uh -huh. is there a dance this weekend? Is there, is there a dance? A dance? This weekend. This weekend. Cling. Correct. Vamos a ver si hay algo en el chat. No, no, no escribió sin mí. Bueno. Ok. Number two, please. Claudia and Diana. Cualquiera de las dos. La primera Are que they. Ah, ok. Either. Uh, three. ¿Cómo lo pronuncio? Three. Three. Mer. mer Meetings? Meetings. This week? Are three meetings, are there three meetings this week? Correct, right?
Good. Are there three meetings this week? Thank you very much. Correct. Cling. Good. Next one, right? Uh, we have uh, Grecia and Karen, right? Vamos a ver quién gana. <laughs> Is there a bank nearby? Nearby. Is there a bank nearby? Is there a bank nearby? Is there a bank nearby? Very good. Ahora viene lo difícil. <laughs> Number four, please. Number four, Carla and Beatriz. Um, sería how many? Uh -huh. How many? How many de are there games this afternoon? Are there games? Oh, yes. How many games, maybe? How many games this uh -huh. afternoon? How many games? This afternoon. This afternoon. Mm -hmm. Pero ahí como que nos faltó algo, Carlita. Um, uh, ¿Qué nos faltó ahí? Oops. <laughs> um, <laughs> ok. <laughs> ya, ya lo vamos a poner a él. Diga, Carla, ya lo vamos a poner a él a practicar, dígale. Oiga. <laughs> Mi esposa, ella lo está escuchando. <laughs> está bien, ok. Él como ya, él como ya puede. Ah, ya, yeah, ok. So you can speak English. Nice. <laughs> congratulations. Eh, Carla's husband, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Ok, now, <laughs> how many games is or are? Is. Is mm, hmm, no, are this afternoon? Are there this, this afternoon, afternoon? Right, good. And because it's a question, use the question yes. mark. Mm. Use the question mark. Okay, good. Thank you, Carla. Now, number five. Number five is um, Luis or Veronica, right? How many pharmacies? Are there on Third Avenue? How many pharmacies are there on Third Avenue, right? Okie dokie. How many pharmacies are there on Third Avenue? Very good, very good. And the last one, right? The last one is between um, Alejandro or Nuria, right? How many are there parties this month? How many? But look at the formula, Alejandro. How many games? Number four, right? How many games? How many pharmacies? How many? Parties, parties yes. How many parties? Are there this month? Are there this month? Okie dokie. That's nice. And I have a commentary here. How many pharmacies are there on Terra? Very good. This is the answer of Veronica. Congratulations, Veronica. You are right too. Yes. Now I will make some questions, right? At random. Who is it? Uh, Carla. Question number one. You answer yes or no, Carla. Carla, is there a dance this weekend? Uh, no. No, there. No, there dance this the weekend. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Good. So you have two options. You can say yes, there is. Or no, there isn't. Again, Carla. Is there a dance this weekend? No, there, and it's the weekend. No, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, next one. Next victim. I mean, the next student. Uh, Alejandra. Are there three meetings this week, Alejandra? Mm. Yes or no? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Correct. <laughs> 
Number three. Next student is going to be William. William, is there a bank nearby? Nearby. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is. Correct, right? Number four. Number four. Beatriz. Hello, Beatriz. No sé si ya me desconectó, Beatriz. Sí, ya se desconectó, ¿verdad? Más ahorita con frío. ¿verdad? Se fue a encolchar, Beatriz. Okay, now, let me see. Anybody else? Eh, Nuria, please. Nuria. How many games are there this afternoon? So in this case, you don't say yes or no. You say there, there are four, there are five, there is one, etc. Cetera, et cetera. It depends on the number of the game, right? Me va a decir qué número de, de juegos, right? Okay, Nuria? Um, el un número con... Ok, any number. Puede decirme cualquier número. Puede decirme, hay tres juegos, uh -huh. hay cinco juegos, hay veinte juegos. I don't know. You... Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, 20, 20, 27. Ajá, but you say there is or 20, there are. 30. There is. They are. There are. Ok, good. I will copy. I will copy for you, right? I will copy. Give me a second. How many games are there this afternoon? You say? There are... How many do you say, Nuria? There are... Seven. Seven. No. no. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are seven games, right? There are seven games. There are seven games because you say a number here, right? You say a number. Good. Thank you. Now, number five, please. Number five. Paola, how many pharmacies are there on Third Avenue? Paola? Um. Tendría que decir... A number. You can say one, two, three, four, five. Okay. There are... 20 pharmacies. There are 20 pharmacies. That's nice. It's good because pharmacies are good, right? Because everywhere you go, eh, the chupaderos are the first one, right? Esos no faltan. Para ponerse bolo ahí <laughs> cualquiera, ¿va? Pero farmacia... Pero qué bueno que por ahí donde vivo ustedes tengan 20 farmacias. That's nice. Nice. Okay, good. And number six. Eh, Carla, please. No, no, Carla ya participó. Sorry. Eh, Diana. Hello, Diana. Hola. Okay, hello. Eh, how many parties? Parties. Eh. Party people, yeah. How many parties? They, they are six parties. There are six parties. Va a estar alegre ahí, yes? Okay. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you very much, class. So we finish. Terminamos entonces. Pero vamos a ir a un recurso nuevo. Okay. Vamos a compartir un recurso nuevo aquí. Yes. Good. The use of there is and there are, right? In a conversation. Good. Listen and practice, please. Page 47, exercise 6, conversation. There aren't any chairs. Listen and practice. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, 
I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Again. Page 47, Exercise 6, Conversation. There aren't any chairs. Listen and practice. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now again, and now listen and repeat. Listen and practice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, ready? Listen and repeat. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Again, repeat, please. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen. But there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any shares. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Good. Now let's practice a conversation. I need uh, some volunteers to help me, right? Chris and Linda, help me, please. Volunteers. Raise your hands. Manita arriba. Or say, me, teacher. Me, Paola, me, Nuria, me, Diana. Okay, you tell me your me, name. Me, teacher. Uh, okay, William. William, you're going to be Chris. Thank you. Now, uh, I need another volunteer for Linda. Sin miedo. Me. Sin miedo. Uh, yes, who is it? Paola, no. Me. Who say your name? Veronica. <laughs> ah, Vero. Okay, thank you, Vero. Okay. 
So you're Linda. Now, ready? One, two, three, action. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some food. Furniture. Furniture. What do you need? Oh, uh, I need lots of things. There are some sheer in the chicken, but there is a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any sheer. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping the next weekend. Okay, thank you. Only uh, Veronica says there are some chairs in the chicken. No, chicken is pio, 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 right? <laughs> <laughs> it's kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. Okay. Yeah, no, chicken, no. <laughs> Tengo hambre, teacher. <laughs> yes, I see. <laughs> okay. Coffee and semita, that's the solution. <laughs> it's permitted, right? Good. Se permite la semita y el café aquí, right? Good. Like I said last night, right? Como dije la vez anterior, ¿verdad? El cafecito nos ayuda ahí para... Para no dormirnos también, ¿verdad? Yes, very good. Alejandro, el, el ventilador le ayuda a estar despierto porque está bien fresco ahí. Pero nosotros el cafecito, ¿sí? Hay gente que cuando toma café no puede dormir. A mí me pasa lo contrario. Cuando estoy dormido no puedo tomar café. Así que, yes. Ok, two more volunteers, right? Two more volunteers and we finish. Two more volunteers. Me. Okay, thank you, Luis. Luis, you are Chris. Yes, sir. And uh, Paola. Paola, Paola. Thank you, Paola. Good. You're going to be Linda, right? Ready? One, two, three. Action. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some. How do you pronounce? Furniture. For Furniture. Furniture. Muebles, right? Muebles, muebles, furniture. Furniture. Thank you. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there, there is a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay. Very good. Okay, very good. Any question about vocabulary? Notice that uh, furniture is mueble, right? Lots of things means muchas cosas. Muchos volados, como decimos los salvadoreños, ¿no? And there are some chairs in the kitchen. And table, right? Okay, very good. And any chairs. Algunos sillas, right? Sillas. Go shopping means ir de compras, right? Ir de compras. And that's it, right? Okay, but pay attention to this, class. Pay attention to this. We have, notice, there are, there are some chairs in the kitchen. There is an, a table, you see. There isn't. Okay. Good. There isn't a tip. Perdón, que me está fallando aquí el, el. Ahí estamos. There isn't a tip. Good. And in negative, there is no sofa, right? There is no. There is no. And you can also say in negative, there aren't. There is contracted, there is. So this is the use of there is, there are. In affirmative and in negative, right? In affirmative and negative. Now we're going to see uh, the grammar here. Okay. 
Listen to the audio, please. Page 47, exercise 7, grammar focus. There is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. Good. Now repeat after me, please. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. Affirmative, right? And negative, singular. Now repeat, last to me, please repeat. There are some chairs in the kitchen. No in the chick. <laughs> in the in the kitchen, right? There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's, there is. Okay, now we're going to make a very interesting exercise. Let me see, reduction. Yes. So uh, you're going to tell me, right? Uh, describe the house or the apartment. Let us say, right, the apartment. And tell me what what is or what is not in the apartment, right? For example, check it out. We have a this apartment, you know, we have a, a, a bedroom, right? In the bedroom, you see a closet, mirror, rug, bed. Then in the living room, we have a TV, right? There is a window here. There is some chairs. There are some chairs, etc. right? So, so in this case, in this case, we are going to say there is or there isn't, right? There aren't or there are or there aren't, right? Affirmative or negative. Right? So, but we're going to we're going to do something, right? I'm gonna ask some specific students to tell me to help me with this, right? William, William, sorry, you begin. Number two, please. Chairs in the kitchen. Okay. Do you do you see um, some chairs in the kitchen or no? Yes, there yeah. are three chairs in the kitchen. Three chairs. There are three chairs. I'm oh, sorry. Again, again, sorry. There are three chairs in the kitchen. Good. Thank you. Now, eh, Paola, TV in the living room. Do you see a TV? Yes, there, there are. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I don't know. You tell me. How many TVs do you see? One, two, three TVs? One. Only one. So singular, right? So? There are. No, no. Singular. Oh, okay. There is. Sorry. There, there is. Sorry. No. <laughs> no. Okay. There is. Uh -huh. Okay. A, a TV. Sorry. A TV. One TV. One TV or a TV? There is a TV in the living room. Thank you, Paola. Now, next, please, uh, Nuria. Do you see a refrigerator? Or no? There is. There is a re refrigerator? 
Nuria, ¿hay un refrigerador? Sí. Yeah. No lo sé, Rick. No lo sé, Rick. No lo alcanzo a ver, sorry. Veamos bien. Como dicen por aquí, por mi pueblo, ¿verdad? Así se hacen los chambres, ¿no? You know? <laughs> ok, no refrigerator, right, Nuria? So this there is negative. Are. There, there are or there, there is. Oh, there isn't. There are. Mm -hmm. But it says refrigerator, only one, right? There is uh, or there are? There, there is. There is. But because it's negative, porque no hay ningún refri ahí, solo <laughs> el refri fantasma. <laughs> No, there, there are. No, no, wait. No. Negative, because it's, no hay refrigerador. So, there is or there isn't? Ah, uh, there isn't. There isn't, right? A refrigerator. Oh, another way to say, there isn't. A refrigerator. Refri, refri. Refri. Gerator. Gerator. Mm -hmm. Or you can say there is no, there is no, there is no refrigerator. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nuria. Thank you very much. Now let's go to number five. Look at the look at the map. Look at the apartment, right? Uh, and let me see, Alejandro. Rugs. Solo que aquí está un poco difícil. Um, Mardín, porque fíjese que en el dormitorio se hay una robe, pero en living room no hay, entonces no, nos ponen predicado. Así que eh, Alejandro puede decir lo afirmativo o negativo, cualquiera de los dos. Yeah. There are rugs. Bueno, lo más fácil, ¿verdad? Excelente. Excelente, Alejandro. There are. There are rugs on the floor. Aunque solo del dormitorio, pero there are, right? There are rugs on the floor. Thank you, Alejandro. Now, eh, Verónica. Number six, Verónica. Curtains on the windows. Mm. No, they aren't. They aren't, correct. Este apartamento se parece un poco si yo viviera solo. <laughs> no le pusiera cortina. <laughs> okay, there are, there are curtains on the window. Here you can say there are some. Or there aren't some, right? Or there aren't any, perdón. There aren't any curtains on the window. Podría ser. Pero lo vamos a dejar así. There aren't curtains on the window. Thank you. Number seven, please. This is for... Uh, Luis, mirror in the bedroom. There is a there mirror. Is. There is a mirror, right? In the bedroom. That's correct. So you speak with a reflejo, right? Okay. There is a mirror in the bedroom. Thank you, Luis. Now, um, Carla, please. Number eight, books. Number eight books day uh -huh. in, in the, the book case. Um, no, there is no. Uh huh. But there is is for singular, right? There are no. Uh huh. Correct. There are no. There are no books. Books in the, book in the book. Yes. No. Verdad. No. No le he puesto libros ahí. So all you can say there are in any books on the bookcase, right? Okay. Very good. Now, repeat after me, please. There is no dresser in the bedroom. Repeat, please. There are three chairs in the kitchen. There is a TV in the living room. There is no refrigerator.
There are rugs on the floor. There aren't curtains on the windows. There is a mirror in the bedroom. There are no books in the bookcase. Okay, any question? Any question? No questions. Any question? No question, right? Oh, yes. Si hay preguntas any o question? no? Any question? Okay, in this case, it's no question, pero... <laughs> Ajá, no question. No es, que, es que cuando me dice any question me está preguntando a mí. Así que tengo... Creo que, es que no quiere que lo olvidemos, ¿verdad, teacher? No, lo que pasa es que quiero que me pregunte. Yo sé. Yo quiero que me pregunte. Aquí está One Dudley. question. Aquí está Dudley que es con ganas de responder. Yes, my question, my question, please. I like questions. Come on, my questions. One question. Ajá, Verónica, ok, ya es diferente. <ríe> What is the question? Las dos formas de negativo en cualquier mm -hmm. momento se pueden utilizar. Yes, yeah, of course, y, y son bien comunes. Es decir, en el habla diaria, yes, se usa bastante. There is no, there is no problem here. There's, in a movie, right? There is no problem here. There is no, there is no. O oh, there isn't a problem. There isn't a problem here. Ambas formas son bien comunes. ¿sí? Y eh, a mí me gusta there is no. Eso suena como más elegante, ¿no? There is no TV here. No hay tele aquí. <ríe> there is no semita here. <ríe> y eso es como que suena más elegante. No, no sé si a ustedes les suena más elegante. ¿no? ¿Ok? Hay palabras que a uno le suena y no sé por qué. ¿va? A mí una de mis favoritas en inglés es tal vez. Tal vez. Is in English perhaps, 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 tal vez, perhaps. Es una de mis palabras favoritas en inglés, right? E, y también la palabra as well, as well as eh, I like English as well. También a mí me gusta el inglés. Ah. I like English as well. Me gusta, no sé por qué. Entonces, there is no también suena un poco elegante, no sé. Es bien común. Ok, thank you, Verónica, for the question. Any question? Es que cuando digo any question, háganme preguntas. Yes. <laughs> Good. Now, we're going to do something special, right? Vamos a hacer algo especial. Aquí no está en el programa, pero lo vamos a implementar, ¿ok? Me van a decir qué tienen y qué no tienen en su casa, ¿ok? Good. Just one sentence, right? Solo una oración ahí, ¿ok? Alejandra, please, tell me something that is, that are, or that isn't, that are in, in your house, Alejandra. The... There is a there is a kitten in the, ah, there is in a my kitten. house. Okay, muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> Excelente. Fíjese que son raras las casas que tienen en cocina. ¿Verdad? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No sé mi cocina. No, that's okay. Aunque sea un fogón ahí va, pero siempre en la cocina. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Eh, Cindy, me escribe ahí su ejemplo, por favor, Cindy. And Claudia, please. What about your house? If you want, you can say, for example, there is a big or a small or beautiful or nice. Pueden agregarme un adjetivo para que suene más, más bonita la oración. ¿Ok? Claudia? There's no rows. There, there, there are no. There are no. Ah, there are, there are there no. no rows. There are no rows. Ok, no se preocupe, aquí tampoco, en mi apartamento no hay ninguno. No rogues, right? Mucho cuesta limpiarlo. Ok, there are no rogues. Thank you, thank you very much. Eh, Diana, please, your sentence. Um, 
that I know books. <risa> no, esa casa está mal, hay que llevar libro, hay que leer. <risa> no, Y es la que no tengo. oh, come Eso no on. es mentira. Bueno, aunque sea virtuales, pero lea algo ahí, mujercitas, cenizas de salco, cien años de soledad, no sé, son como básicas, ¿no? <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you very much, Diana. Now, Grecia, please, what about your sentence? There is mirror in the bedroom. Oh, nice, very good. So, Grecia is over here, right? <laughs> okay, Grecia, thank you. Now, Karen, please, your, your sentence. Describe your house or your bedroom if you want, or, the, or your kitchen. Um, there are a pantry. Uh -huh. There is. There is. Uh -huh. You say cabinet uh -huh. in English, right? Or cabinet. Uh -huh. There yeah. is a cabinet. Uh, aunque también pantry tiene otro, otra cosa, se dice otra forma también, ya me voy a acordar, pero, pero no se dice pantry, se dice... Ya, ya lo voy a investigar. Okay, thank you, Karen. But you can say also cabinet. Cabinet is correct. Thank you. Eh, they are made of wood. Eh, Karen, ¿son hechos de madera? Repeat, please. Are they made of wood? ¿Son hechos de madera? Eh, no. No, oh, okay. Very good. How do you say pantry? In English, right? It, había una forma, vamos a ver. Lo mismo, uh -huh, pantry. Ah, pues sí, pantry. Pero había otra, ya me va a acordar. Eh, ¿A en, la cena? No, no, pero es que es que en inglés había una palabra, pero no, no me acuerdo cuál era. No, nah, ya me va a acordar. Ok, good. Ah, y aquí tengo la oración. Thank you, thank you, Karen. Thank you very much. Now, there is a TV, dice Cindy. Tiene un televisor, ¿verdad? Pero que sea que es pantallota, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, who's next? Your sentence. Carla, please, your sentence. About your house, Carla. There is, there are. Carla. Creo que se desconectó Carla, ¿verdad? Si no la veo. Ok. So, um, Beatriz también, ya no fue a dormir, Beatriz. Eh, Luis, please. There is a window in my bedroom. Ah, nice. There you go. So, in the morning, the birds, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice, Luis. Ok, eh, Verónica. There is a big refrigerator. Oh, nice. Very good. <laughs> Para los pollos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Now, Alejandro, don't tell me, Alejandro. There is a fan, right? Hay un ventilador. <laughs> sí, porque Alejandro siempre está fresquito ahí. Ajá, Alejandro. Calor en Ajá. So, say, there, there is. There is a computer in my bedroom. The, sorry, repeat, there is there is a computer in my bedroom. Ah, nice. No, <laughs> sorry, que estoy con lo del, lo del chicken, right? There is a chicken in ah. the... the... <laughs> no, no sé si le escuché, sorry, sorry, Alejandro. Excuse me, excuse me. So there is a computer in your bedroom, right? Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you very much. Eh, Nuria? Sí. There, there are in cat. There is a cat. Yes. There is a cat in your house, right? There is a cat. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a dog in my house, right? This is polar. <laughs> there is a dog in my house. He's very... <laughs> He's very angry, right? muy, es muy bravo, ¿no? <ríe> Ahí lo ven todo peluche, pero no es. 
es enemigo público de los vecinos. <laughs> okay, good. So there is a dog in my house. There is a cat. There is a cat in, in Nuria's house, right? Okay, thank you. Paola, your sentence? Uh, there is no lamp in the bedroom. Ah, oh, no lamps. Okay, thank you, Paola. William? Your house or your apartment, <clears throat> William? House. <laughs> house, okay, good. There is a small vacuum cleaner. Ah, okay. Very good. Small. Aspiradora, verdad? Uh, vacuum. Uh -huh. Bac bac vacuum ba cleaner. Bac vacuum cleaner. cleaner. Yes. Okay, now, but, but you have a, a small, right? Al menos tiene una. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> sí. nice. Thank you. Thank you, William. That's it. Right now, let's go to the next. The next sentence. To the next exercise, I mean. Good. Here we're going to learn the pronunciation of TH, right? Vamos a aprender la pronunciación de la, de la letra TH. Tiene dos sonidos. Listen, please. Page 48, exercise 9, pronunciation. Words with TH. Part A, listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of TH and TH. Listen. Uh, the tongue is out. Se saca un poquito la lengua, right? Se saca un poquito la lengua. Mm -hmm. And then you say, right? Y se deja salir el aire entre los dientes y la lengua. Como cuando decimos, sa, sa, sapo, sapo, sapo. So we say, thanks. Excuse me, thanks, right? Y el otro es th, 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 como my father, my mother. Okay, you don't say my father, my mother. No, no, it's my father, th, th, and my mother, th, th. Entonces, este símbolo fonético que es como un cerito con una línea en medio, ¿no? Es la... Y este símbolo rarito, que es como una pancita hacia arriba, ¿eh? como una X, es el sonido de la D. Ok, listen. There are 13 rooms in this house. The house has three bathrooms. Listen, please. Page 48, exercise 9. Pronunciation. Words with TH. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the pronunciation of TH and TH. There are 13 rooms in this house. The house has three bathrooms. Okay. There are 13 rooms in this house. The house has three bathrooms, right? Volunteers to practice the pronunciation. Volunteers. Volunteers. No hay ningún valiente en el grupo. Come on. Me teacher. Thank you very much. Read. Okay. There are 13 rooms in this house. The house has three bathrooms. Okay. Thank you, William. Good pronunciation, yes. Congratulations, William. Yes. Any other? ¿Hay otro valiente en el grupo? Mi no. teacher. Ok, thank you, Karen. Do it. There are 13 rooms in this house. The house has three bathrooms. Okie dokie. Thank you, right? And now let's go to the last exercise of the night, right? Vamos a ir al último ejercicio. Listen, right? Chris and Linda are going to buy some furniture. ¿Se acuerdan que en el apartamento de Linda 
pues no había muebles, entonces Linda y Chris se fueron de compras. ¿ves? Y ahí andan ahorita. ¿Qué cosas necesitan? Vamos a ver. Pero antes necesito un voluntario que quiera repetirse la, invita la invitación, la, la, la entrevista. Porque déjeme ver, Beatriz ya se nos fue, ¿verdad? Porque Beatriz me hace falta y nada, nadie más. Eh, ¿Alguien que quiera tener la entrevista de los 10 minutos? ¿O tomo el siguiente en lista? ¿Volunteers? Bueno, ayer me quedé con, con Dayana, ¿verdad? ¿Sí, Dayana? Yes. Yes, entonces ahorita sería Grecia. ¿Está bien, Grecia? ¿Nos quedamos 10 minutos? Sí, está bien. Yes, ok. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aquí la anotamos ya. Yes. Unos ocho minutos nos vamos a quedar para... Nos vamos a pasar un poquito con este ejercicio, ok? Very good. Now listen, he says, and check the things they are going to buy, right? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta a Linda? Solo me voy a chequear lo que le gusta a Linda. Ok, ready? Here we go. Page 48. Exercise 10. Listening. Furniture is expensive. Listen to Chris and Linda talk in a furniture store. What does Linda like? Check the things. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh-huh. But what about a sofa? No, I don't like that color. And I have a sofa now, from my parents. It's blue, too. Oh, right. Hey, look. You know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. Um... It's a little boring. Oh, wait a minute. That coffee table is great. Yeah, I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? No, I don't. So, let's see. The chairs, the coffee table. What else? I don't need any lamps. Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh, yes. They're perfect. Okay. Now, listen again, and we're going to check one by one, right? Page four. Check the things. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm only buying a few things for the living room. Furniture is expensive. Yeah, it is. So, things for the living room. No bedroom. Living room. Oh, look at those blue armchairs. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they are. I need two for the living room. Uh-huh. Uh, but what about... Okay, good. What does Linda need? Armchairs. Armchairs. Like we say, sillón, right? In, in Spanish, we say el sillón, right? Tenemos el sofá y a la par un sillón. So, so that is the, the armchair, right? Good, thank you. Let's continue. About a sofa. No, I don't like that color. Sofa? No, right? And I have a sofa now from my parents. It's blue, too. Oh, right. Hey, look, you know, this rug is nice, and it matches the chairs. Rug? Um, it's a little boring. Algo aburrido, a little boring, right? Oh, wait a minute, that coffee table is great. Uh-huh. Coffee table. Coffee table, okay. Good, let's continue. Yeah, I like it too. Do you need a bookcase? 
No, I don't. So let's see. The chairs, the coffee table. What else? I don't need any lamps. Oh, I know. I want some curtains. How about the curtains over there? Where? Right there. They're red. Oh, yes. They're perfect. Okay, what else? Curtains. The curtains, right? The curtains. So those are the things that Linda needs for her living room or for her apartment, right? For her apartment. Okay, class. Thank you very much. Any extra question? Uh, no se les olvide que para el jueves tenemos que tener lista ya la plataforma, ¿sí? Um, el jueves vamos a hacer, vamos a trabajar en el examen final y el viernes hacemos la, 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 la encuesta para estar. El, el examen estaba programado para el viernes, pero mejor hagámoslo antes, no voy a hacer que, que es, nos agarre en la tarde, ¿verdad? ¿Les parece? Entonces el viernes lo haríamos, ¿ya? ¿sí? Voy a pasar listado y me quedo solamente con Grecia, right? So please say present, Alejandra. Present, teacher. Okay, Good bye night. bye. Good night. God bless you. Cindy. Claudia. Present. Okay, bye bye, Claudia. Present. Diana. Present. Bye God bless bye. You. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, Grecia. Present. Thank you. No se me va a ir, Grecia. Karen. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Carla. Beatriz. Luis. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Luis. Present. Thank you. No, eh, perdón. Es que era Lucía y luego Luis. Perdón. Sorry. Sorry. Perdón por el oso, Luis. Have a good night. Eh, Verónica. Present. Bye bye. Teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Nuria. Present. Thank you very much, Nuria. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Paola. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, good night. William. I'm here, teacher. Good, good night. Good night. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, Alejandro. Okay. Okay, see you tomorrow. God Bye. bless you. God bless you. And Cindy say present. Okay, thank you, Cindy. Thank you very much. Good. So, Grecia, do you need to review something? Necesita que repasemos algún tema, Grecia? Eh, With... Sí. Which? Me gustaría, me gustaría repasar el de, de do y del does. Do y does. Okay, excellent, excellent. Bueno, básicamente el do y el das, Grecia, eh, no existen en español, ¿verdad? Nosotros lo que usamos es la conjugación del verbo. Entonces el do y el das nos, nos indican en inglés que la oración está en presente simple. Presente simple, ¿ok? Hay otros auxiliares como el verbo to be, como el have, el had, el did, que nos indican cuando una oración está en pasado o, o en futuro o en otro tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero el do y el das es como decir, eh, son el timón, Grecia, son el timón para dirigirnos a, a si la oración es negativa, es, es una pregunta o es afirmativa, ¿sí? Entonces, básicamente, el auxiliar lo usamos solo en oraciones negativas y preguntas, ¿ok? Comencemos entonces el Afirmative, right? En afirmativo, solo usamos el verbo y el sujeto. I live in San Salvador, por ejemplo. I live in San Salvador, ¿ya? Yeah? Uh, she works in a factory. Ella trabaja en una fábrica, right? Entonces, no necesitamos usar el auxiliar en afirmativo. Pero si ya queremos indicar que esa acción de vivir o esa acción donde ella trabaja no existe o es negativo, right? Entonces usamos el negativo. 
el negativo. Y ahí vamos a usar I do not live in San Salvador. I do not live in San Salvador. Yo no vivo en San Salvador. ¿Ok? Pero para esto es necesario que nos memoricemos que el do se usa con I, you, we y they. Esto crece así como el ABC, ¿verdad? Es algo fundamental. Y también el do se usa con los plurales. Todos los nombres que sean plurales como eh, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, my neighbors, etcétera, etcétera, eh, se usa el do. Cuando estamos hablando de oraciones negativas y oraciones interrogativas, ¿verdad? Right? Preguntas. Y el da se usa, que es el mismo, el do y el das es el mismo, solo que es, lo usamos con she y it y todos los singulares todo nombre que sea singular my brother, my sister, Firulai eh, Grecia etcétera, etcétera vamos a usar el das ok y si el das es para she lo vamos a poner she does she does not uh, work in a factory ¿Ok? Y aquí lo podemos unir. En lugar de decir do not, vamos a decir don't. En lugar de decir does not, doesn't. Does, ¿ok? Podemos contractar, ¿sí? Ok, entonces tenemos el primero. Se usa en negativo. El auxiliar. Indicando... Porque, ¿de qué otra forma podemos decir que el, el live es negativo? O el work es negativo. No tenemos otra forma. Entonces, es necesario el auxiliar. Por eso se llama auxiliar, para que nos ayude a entender por qué es que la oración va en negativo. Y también lo usamos en preguntas. ¿Ok? Y aquí cambiamos el orden. Al principio ponemos, do you live in San Salvador? Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. Oh. No. I don't. Yes? Okay. Does she work in a factory? Trabaja ella en una fábrica? Yes, she does. O oh, no, she does. Vea que no decimos, yes, she works. O oh, no, she works. She doesn't work, no. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Ok. Good. Uh, si se fija, Grecia, que en el afirmativo usamos una S. Cuando, cuando es tercera persona. Cuando es he, she, it. ¿Ok? O Pedro, María, de Sturen, etcétera, le ponemos una S. Pero cuando ya usamos la negativa, miren, ya desaparece la S. Eso es por el auxiliar das, por esto. Ya no necesitamos ponerle la S, ¿sí? Ok. Lo mismo sucede en preguntas. Miren, cuando hace la pregunta, como ya usamos el auxiliar, das en este caso, ya no necesito poner that she works. Solo that she works, right? Ok, good. Uh, ahora para terminar, Grecia, quiero que me haga una oración afirmativa, una negativa y una pregunta sobre usted. Vaya. Eh, afirmativa, I live in San Miguel. Are you live in San Miguel, ajá. Uh -huh. Negative.
I don't. I don't. Puede ser cualquier cosa. ¿verdad? Cualquier verbo, sí. I don't play soccer. Okay, good. Question? Do you, do they, does she? Do you, do you work in a hospital? Does she work in a hospital? Correct, does, right? Does she? Uh, uh, does, does she work in a hospital? hospital? Does she work in a hospital? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't, right? Muy bien, ese sería el el resumen, Grecia, no sé si ahora le quedó un poquito más claro. Sí. ¿O todavía tiene alguna duda, Grecia? Ya, ya me, me terminó de... Sí, básicamente es sencillo. Afirmativo, negativo y pregunta. Y el auxiliar o los auxiliares los usa en negativo y en pregunta. Ahí estamos. Ok, Grecia. So, it was a pleasure. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, good night.